So the NME project has essentially teaches the teachers how to help the students in their classroom uh, calm down their stress response system. And when, it, when a child is calm, they have access to the cortex. And when we have access to our cortex, that's when we can learn and retain new material. They're going to learn new academic materials. They might catch up to grade level. But I think more importantly, they're going to learn the importance of relationships. Westerville is such a great city, great community, great town. And our school is special. I think that even without NME, 90% of our kids are probably going to be okay. But that means we've got 10% that might not be. And so that's, that's where NME comes in. I am an intervention specialist, so I'm a special education teacher. In special education, um, I work with a lot of students that have um, emotional disturbances. I work with students that have um, specific learning disabilities. I work with a lot of students that also like carry a lot of, of uh, baggage. They carry a lot of trauma. A lot of the kids, especially at the higher level, will say, oh yeah, yeah, I'm fine, but they're not fine. Um, I've had several students in the last couple of years who they seem fine and then we find out that they have eating disorders and, and anxiety and all these things that um, they mask very well because they play school very well. There's a lot going on in their lives that we don't know about. A lot of them want to do well, they just don't understand exactly how to go about that. Our staff are in education because they care about kids. We had staff coming and saying, we see these kids. These kids have these incredible stories and have these things going on at home that just make it so difficult for them to learn. And we know they want to learn, but they just can't, and I don't know how to help. And so NME has given us these tools to give to our educators. And as a result, it has changed the relationship um, between our students and educators. Um, it's been such an incredible opportunity. I was incredibly excited, I, in part because I had seen such a need in our building. And so when I found out that we were going to have the opportunity to work with Bruce Perry um, and bringing NME into our building, I just, I, the hope that grew, I just, yes, there, things are going to change. Things are going to change for us because of this, and they have. I think that NME has opened a door for our school. Giving individuals an effective way to help is one of the most powerful ways that we can um, make a change in education because the will is there. It's, it's discovering the way to deliver it. A lot of the things that I read in the book and I watched in the videos and all of the training materials, I went, yes, yes. I just found myself like nodding my head to everything. What, what this process does, it brings us together and it just unifies our school so that we have a common language. It's given us the tools to create these relationships and build these successes that just build on each other. If you got a chance to save a kid or to help 100% of your kids, why not find a creative, innovative way to do it? And to me, NME is going to help all of our students. NME has been completely transformational for our school, for our educators, for our students most importantly. Um, at the end of the day, everything we do, if it doesn't benefit our kids, there's no point in doing it. The first thought for me was that NME would allow me to have some professional training on helping students that might produce better academic outcomes. Um, but as I learned more and got into the actual meat of the training and really digested what NME, the neurosequential model in education, was about, um, it's really about doing what's right for kids. NME has created a more compassionate and supportive space for our students and our staff at Westerville South High School. And I think the entire building as a result, there's just hope. There's, um, there's this excitement for, for our teachers to teach and our students to learn. And it's just created this culture where people are um, much more excited to be there. I think I'm much more intentional in what I do. I feel that my um, actions and the way that I react to students now is more purposeful. One thing that I've really understood is that you need to model how you want students to act. And I find myself fighting less battles. Um, I 
I understand why some students are acting the way that they do sometimes. Um, and I've learned a ton about myself as well. I know when students act out in class, it's, it's very easy for a teacher to be frustrated, but now I'm much more intentional. I understand that there's something that caused this behavior. So it helps you see things from a different perspective and you look at why is the student acting this way and it helps you to attack that reason rather than just go through this process of misbehavior, discipline, misbehavior, discipline. And I've seen huge growth. I've seen the most growth from some of my students that have had those really um, tough experiences. I feel like students know. They, they know if you care. They know if you're invested in not only your subject matter, but in them as people. I've worked really hard to build that relationship with them, and I've seen just a huge amount of growth from them. It's with their students who they had trouble reaching, all of a sudden they have this better uh, rapport and they're able to get them more engaged in the classroom curriculum and they're seeing more success academically and they're like, oh, okay, well then I'll try this. And so um, I think what we're seeing is this ripple effect. And so it just builds on itself. The success builds on success. When you help them understand how their brain works and help them regulate and get to a, a calm state, it just makes the teaching process so much easier. When kids are able to self-regulate, the whole classroom environment improves immensely and it just makes their lives better in so many ways. Um, in a school of 1,500 students, um, I want them to think of our classroom as a small community where they develop relationships with others. Um, so um, it started out kind of like a selfish administrator trying to improve test scores and graduation rates. Uh, but at the end of the day, it's about um, relationships and helping kids. Um, just be better than they were the day before. And what I love is that when these skills are implemented in the classroom, they affect everyone. All the students benefit. And so our teachers see a benefit for everyone and parents are behind it because all of the kids benefit. And so I think, um, I think even our kids, no matter where they are in the continuum of trauma, um, everyone deals with stress and this just equips everyone to do it better. The Village Network has been an awesome um, partner. We've been able to collaborate from early in the school year. They've been with us from the get-go. I mean, everything that we've, we've done has been with their support. The Village has provided resources, um, training time, tools. The Village Network has helped us open up discussions and get ideas. We're excited that they gave us an opportunity to go down this journey with them. This has been a huge positive influence in my life. It's made me a more effective educator for my students. NME has given people a way to care um, in a way that makes a difference.